I wanted to do a quick video while I was out uh, walking about what sparks joy in your life. I remember coming across this when I was reading um, a Marie Kondo book, which is all about tidying up. This was some years ago. And one of the tips she gave to make easy decisions about what to keep when, um, and what to get rid of is to touch them. And if it sparks joy, keep them. And if not, then you don't, you know, you need to ask the question, why am I keeping this? So all that aside, it's actually something that I've kept up with and implemented into lots of areas of my life. And so one thing that sparks joy for me is walking, as you probably have already seen in a previous video um, with my dog Lola. But I've got a list of things that spark joy in my mind. Things like spending time with my husband, my family and friends. Um, I do like shopping, <laughs> although I haven't been able to do that uh, recently. But even with shopping, you know, I only buy things now that spark joy. And so I know that I'm not wasting my money when I do that. Um, but you can use it in lots of different areas. And it's really handy to have a list of things that spark joy in your life. Things that you can go to to do that will make you happy, which will make you feel better, which will make you feel lighter. So have that list and then look at, you know, what, how often you spend in time on those things that spark joy. And even if over the next week, you just try to do those things a little bit more. Um, I just love that term. I don't know about you. I'd be interested to see um, what you think about it. But uh, in my mind, it helps me make a lot of decisions about what I do. Bye.